Welcome to this introduction on how to replace the ball bearing on a pump type DHBS and DHBF. First you have to remove the coupling guard. This can be done after unscrewing the three bolts. The next step is to unscrew and remove the pipe. Now you have free access to unscrew the bolts holding the spacer into place. The bolts are loosened by an Allen key. When all bolts are removed, you have free access to remove the spacer and motor coupling. Now loosen the bolts in the pump cover with an Allen key. Also loosen the two guide bolts in the casing cover. Remove the bolts and put them aside. For optimizing the handling of the heavy casing, mount two lifting bolts. The bolts are to be tightened evenly in order to lift the cover smoothly from the casing. When proper room for it, you can tip the pump cover with a screwdriver. Now you have access to remove the complete rotating element. With the element upside down, remove the impeller. You now have access to carefully removing the mechanical shaft seal. Turn the element over again and remove the bolts from the pump shaft. Remove the pump shaft from the casing cover. Turn the pump shaft over and remove the circlip and the loose collar. For loosening the bearing from the shaft, place two bolts in the shaft flange. Tighten the two bolts evenly to make the bearing slip the shaft. And for better stability, place the shaft in the impeller slot. When bearing has slipped the shaft, you can remove the two lifting bolts. And you can remove the shaft, bearing cover and bearing from the impeller slot. Place the collar between the heating surface and the ball bearing to ensure the heating in the center of the ball bearing. Add grease to the shaft with a brush. Ensure that the installation tool has the same radius as the loose color. When the center of the ball bearing has reached a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius above room temperature, you can knock it into the right position over the shaft. For keeping the ball bearing in the right position, reposition the loose color and the circlip. The pump shaft can now be repositioned in the casing cover. Please note the right position of the pump shaft, then reposition and tighten the four bolts.
Turn over the casing cover and add grease to the pump shafts and cover. Also add grease to the new mechanical shaft seal and place this in the casing cover. It's very important to remove any excess grease. Wipe off with a clean cloth and rinse with alcohol. As grease is not allowed on the mechanical shaft, use liquid soap as lubricant. Place the mechanical shaft and add grease. Put impeller back in place and secure the bolt with Loctite before tightening. Before repositioning the rotating element, add grease to the pump casing and the casing cover. Now you can reposition the complete rotating element in the pump casing. Make sure the element is placed properly in the pump casing. Secure the position by use of the two guide bolts. First reposition all the bolts and tighten them one by one. Before going further, make sure the shaft and the impeller rotates freely. Wipe off the surfaces with a dry cloth. After greasing the motor coupling, reposition this in the pump and reposition the spacer. Reposition and tighten bolts to secure the spacer part. Once again, check for uncompromised rotation. Reposition the pipe on the pump. Finally, reposition the safety guard and you're done.